Yeah, Zoom connected on YouTube. As soon as uh, we give the go, uh, it's going to start recording. Um, okay, so we should start in one minute. If you can please take your seats. Okay, so are we on YouTube yet? Okay. All right, so let's get started, please. So uh, I want to welcome everybody to the Computer Science Department Spring 2022 uh, recognition ceremony for our graduating students. My name is Alex Labrinidis, and I'm the chair of the Department of Computer Science at the University of Pittsburgh. I'm very excited to have this event in person again uh, after so long. And thrilled to see so many of our students um, their families and friends come here tonight. Uh, as some of you may know, uh, or a lot of you, uh, our department has a long history. It was established uh, all the way back in May of 1966, making us one of the 10 oldest computer science departments. Most of the people in this room were not alive back then, uh, me included. Uh, in fact, I'm the first CS department chair that was not alive when the department was formed. Um, and I suspect, though, this will be true for, you know, most of the chairs going forward. Um, so in our 56-year history, we have graduated thousands of alumni who can be found all over the globe at this point, making an impact in various industries such as computing, banking, healthcare, education, cybersecurity, and even agriculture. Um, in the last 10 years, we have seen phenomenal growth uh, in our program. Um, uh, our undergraduate computer science program went from 197 majors back in 2011 to 400 majors in fall uh, 2021. So that's over double the size. Uh, in addition to providing excellent educational programs, we also strive for research excellence. This is exemplified by the numerous uh, Best Papers Award that our faculty uh, and students uh, have received last year, some of which even involved undergraduate students. Additionally, 37% uh, of our eligible uh, faculty have received an NSF Career Award, uh, and another 31% are still el eligible to get one because they, are, uh, they joined our department recently. But enough about the department. So this ceremony is to recognize the achievement of our graduating students. So graduating with a computer science or computational biology degree is no easy task, as you know. Uh, there are so many things to learn and do, uh, all these assignments, projects, deadlines. The two years of the pandemic have made everything even more challenging. It wasn't easy staying focused when everybody was two-dimensional uh, on Zoom. Um, not to mention motivated, uh, but that is all behind us. So to the students graduating this, terms, this term, I would uh, like to say congratulations, you did it, and uh, give everybody a, a big round of applause. Thank you. So to the students graduating today, uh, I have to say one more thing, that uh, you know, when you look back at your college years, perhaps a few decades from now, when uh, you know, talking to your own kids about college, uh, you should tell them how challenging this period was and that, uh, how resilient you were and uh, how you, uh, you know, came out victorious. Uh, and also, it's probably appropriate to say how ancient our technology today is compared to a few decades from now when, you know, people will have holograms and, you know, virtual reality contact lenses and things like that. 
Um, on a more serious note, uh, your achievements uh, to, to that we're celebrating today would not have been possible without your family and friend support, financial and emotional. They helped you through the tough times, and you were able to persevere and make them proud. So a huge, thank, a huge thanks to them as well, and let's uh, do a round of applause for the family and friends that are here today. So, um, let's see if this works. So without uh, further ado, I would like to uh, introduce uh, Dr. John Ramirez, the director of our undergraduate program, who will present the Outstanding Undergraduate Student Award. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'd first like to talk a little bit about what this award is. So the Computer Science Department awards um, an outstanding student every year with this um, award. And it represents a st the student that we feel embodies the, the principles that we have in our department, both academic and extracurricular. Um, we look very hard at a lot of candidates. And I have to tell you, there were a lot of outstanding candidates this year. We have some exceptional students in our department some exceptional students, uh, both in their academics and in their extracurricular activities. We got a lot of recommendations from faculty. We looked at a lot of um, transcripts. And in the end, we ended up deciding who our Outstanding Undergraduate Award winner is for this year. And that is Liam White McShane. Um, <laughs> You can see on the monitor a few things about Liam. I just want to mention a few highlights from um, my personal experience with Liam. So I had Liam when he was a freshman in, in 401 and 445, and he was by far the best student in both of those classes. I knew at that point that uh, he was beyond already what I could teach him, and, and he indicated that very quickly, progressed through the program very well. Um, and he did some outstanding research with Dr. Mosse. In fact, he was nominated for a CRA Undergraduate Research Award from Dr. Mosse, or from, by Dr. Mosse. Uh, graduated summa cum laude. Um, an incredible, as you can see there, 27 A-plus grades. I've never seen that before in any transcripts. Yeah, why didn't he get the other A-pluses, right? What's going on? Um, so uh, he also had some great recommendations from his um, experience as an undergraduate TA. Uh, the students really spoke very highly of him, and he did some work in the 1550 class, uh, porting some of the course projects, and both the students and the instructors found him to be an, an amazing TA and very dedicated. So uh, I think he's a very worthy recipient of this award. We couldn't have picked someone better, and I would like to congratulate Liam Mike McShane as our 2021-2022 Outstanding Undergraduate Award. <laughs> So I'd just like to say, we have a plaque for Liam, but it hasn't been made up yet. So we'll be mailing it to him. We don't have it to give him right now. So. That's all right. Okay. You got this for when you graduated, right? You got yes. this when you graduated. Yes, I got that. So Liam graduated in December, so that's why he's not wearing his uh, cap and gown tonight. So. But I'm glad, I'm very glad you could make it back. Thank you very much for stopping back, Liam. We're happy that you could make it. One more round of applause for Liam, please. At this point, I would like to uh, introduce Dr. Stephen Lee, who will present the Graduate Student Awards. Uh, thank you, Alex, and thank you, everyone. Uh, so next up is the Oren E. and Margaret M. Tolby Graduate Award for Excellence in Computer Science. Uh, this is, again, an annual award that we present to a student, and there are various criteria for this. So this is generally awarded to a full-time PhD student who has exceptionally high a QPA and has passed his preliminary exams and has made significant progress towards this. And this is typically awarded to students that have at least got two semesters with classroom experience as a teaching assistant and has demonstrated strong research interest and a marked interest in pursuing an academic career. As we have received, like in this year, we received 
a lot of applications and uh, a lot of feedback from various faculty members as to who has demonstrated outstanding teaching skills in this particular area. And so without further ado, uh, I want to first uh, 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 announce the runner-up, which is Tahiri Arab Ghalizi. Uh, she's a fourth year PhD student. Uh, she has at least two papers as first authors and has numerous other uh, paper publications. Uh, she taught uh, Computer Science 401 in summer 2020, uh, 2021, and her OMIT score was around 4.62. Next up, we have the winner, which is Brian Nixon. Uh, he's a second year PhD student, and he has authored two papers at Pitt, one of which he is the first author. And he has got excellent OMED scores in two of the courses that he taught during the summer. Um, yeah. Brian? Oh, yeah, and he got the best paper award for both of these papers. So, round of applause for Brian. One thing to add here, Tolby uh, was the first chair of the computer science department uh, back from uh, its inception for up until the early 80s, if I remember correctly, right? So for like, uh, you know, that's over 20 years, so it's amazing that he <laughs> did it for so long. Uh, but then in, memo in his memory and his uh, wife's memory, his sons uh, provided this, uh, you know, the money to support uh, uh, this award that we've been having for, you know, a few decades now. And I think you got this award at some point, John, yeah. when you were a student. You were the first one. So, so yes. Uh, this so. shows how old I am. So. Uh, well. <laughs> All right, so thank you. Back to Steven. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have the CS50 Fellowship Award. Uh, this award was created in 2021 to celebrate the Department of Computer Science 50th anniversary. And uh, to be eligible for this particular fellowship, uh, the student would have, must have passed their prelims and have at least two papers published in top conferences and have really good grades. Um, uh, we have, uh, for this particular year, this year, we have two students that have been nominated, or at least awarded. The first is Mei Chi Guo. Um, she's a fourth year PhD student, and she has been advised by Rebecca Ha, she's here. And I think uh, Meiji has joined us online. She's got uh, three papers. Maybe let her Yeah. yeah. Can we... I don't know how to. I think you can spotlight. Yeah, so when, it is, so when you, uh, how about you stop sharing when you're done talking about your So. So we can't hear you, no, but. We cannot do anything. Uh, sorry. That's going to create a feedback Share again. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, 
So next up, we if have... I'm not perfected the technology to send the uh, swag through Zoom, so <laughs> I will have to happen later. Uh, next up, we have Bingyao Li. She's uh, a second-year PhD student, and she's advised by Xu Long Tang, and she's got two papers, one at Micro 2021 and one at WWW. Both of these are really top tier conferences at systems, and uh, I would like to con we would like to congratulate her, Bingya. <laughs> Let me see if I can spotlight. Okay, so these were the awards that we had, uh, and uh, now we're gonna switch to um, recognizing the, the graduate students. Uh, and it's my pleasure to reintroduce Dr. John Ramirez, who's gonna, the director of our undergraduate program, who will recognize our uh, students receiving bachelor's degrees. Thank you, everybody. Just a little bit about the procedure here. Um, we invited everybody who was graduating to come to this event and we also asked for their feedback. And some of the things we asked are some of their special experiences, some of the things that uh, they found interesting or rewarding while they were here. And so we recorded those and we put some of these on the slides. So we're gonna show a few of those highlights as we introduce our students um, for their degrees. And then as I call their names, when I finish reading a, a few snippets from their passages, can you just come up and we have a little gift for you as well here, okay? Uh, they're in alphabetical order, so you should be able to anticipate when you would come up. Our first graduate is Davin James Allensworth. And Davin plans to work full-time as a software engineer at UPMC um, after graduation. And he dedicates his degree to his family who has supported him throughout his education. And there's some other things. I'll only pick a few that I'll be reading. You can please help yourself to read everything else. Congratulations, Davin. Are you here? social media, uh, you would have guessed what we have in there. Uh, if you did not, I'll just uh, spill the beans now. So we do have a, a nice tumbler uh, for hot or cold beverages from, that has the computer science logo that we gave last uh, uh, December as well. But brand new, we also have computer stickers. For the first time ever in the department, we're giving this out. Somewhat funny, uh, so uh, you'll get that uh, uh, in the bag as well. So if you don't find them, it means they dropped off or something, so let us know, because uh, we had to stuff a lot of bugs for this. So, so this is what you should expect to find. I have a question, though. You're particularly proud of getting stuck in the elevator or, or getting out of the elevator after? <laughs> I'm not sure which. Honestly, kind of both. It's a great <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> The, the center square elevators are kind of infamous for their lack of correct functioning, so. All right, our next graduate is Madison May Banasak. And 
Madison dedicates her degree to herself. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Sade Kenya Cheyenne Benjamin. And after graduation, she has an internship at the Naval Nuclear Laboratory in Pittsburgh, and she dedicates her degree to her great aunt Sybil. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Maxwell Benko. After graduation, Maxwell plans to look for a job and is particularly proud of passing Calc 2. <laughs> and finally remembers Dr. Katab. He was his favorite professor. And I have to say, uh, the favorite professor of a lot of our students, he's a particularly great professor. So um, I'm glad you mentioned him. And Calc 2, just, to, just for those of you not familiar with it, Calc 2 is somewhat infamous at Pitt. It's one of the most challenging courses, and it's one of the most uh, commonly repeated classes. So being proud of passing it is, is definitely a non-trivial thing. So congratulations, Maxwell. Is Maxwell here? Never mind. All right, our next graduate is Megan Mary Byrne. And after graduation, Megan planning to travel and search for a job. She dedicates her degree to her parents, professors, and former co-workers at the Software Engineering Institute. And she's particularly proud of how all her professors motivated her to grow academically and professionally. Congratulations. Well done. Our next graduate is Urjit Ashwin Kumar Deshmukh. And Urjit, after graduation, Urjit will be working full time as a software development engineer at Amazon. And he dedicates his degree to his family, friends, and mentors. And they were the reason behind his resilience and achievements. He's particularly proud of designing a class with a peer. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, so my, my peer, uh, he was a pre-med student, and as a computer science student, like, we were both interested in biotechnology, so we, uh, we made a class to, like, the School of Nursing, um, and it's actually being put into effect this coming fall, so That's I can't take it, but other people definitely can. Very well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I've been told that when we have an empty seat, we should skip the person, so. We can still say their name. Should we? I mean, they didn't bother to show, so no, should we? No. <laughs> okay, we'll say them anyway. Ryan Joseph Durkowski, congratulations. You don't need to make up photos for them, though, like you did last time. So <laughs> All right, our, our next graduate is another no-show, but Devante Amor Flugens, congratulations. So in all sincerity, sometimes it's tough to get here, other things come up, so uh, I do not want to be critical of people who are not able to make it. There, there could be some very valid reasons for that. So we'll still wish everyone well, even if they weren't able to make it. Our next graduate is Andrew James Francione. Are you here, Andrew? All right. After graduation, and will be working full time, and he's still considering current offers. You care to share any of those with us? Uh, m and Bank in Buffalo. Oh, great. So Buffalo, New York. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Well, well done. Also, 
particularly proud of getting through operating systems in the middle of the pandemic. So I talked about Calculus 2. Another kind of infamous course in the curriculum is operating systems. It's a very um, challenging course, and getting through that is also no small feat. So congratulations, Andrew. Our next graduate is Jackson Ray Frank. And after graduation, Jackson will be starting a job at Shoreline.io as a DevOps engineer, which is awesome. He dedicates his degree to his parents and family who have always supported him through college. And let's see, remember fondly, I only got to spend two years at Pitt, but will fondly remember how helpful and supportive the CS community has been for me here. And that's great to know. All right, congratulations, Jackson. <laughs> Our next graduate is Joseph Eugene Galanti. After graduation, Joseph will be working as a software engineer at Edge Case Research, and that's in the, the Strip, which is becoming a hub of tech, so it's a great area to work. So, um, he dedicates his degree to his mom, dad, sister, and family, and is particularly proud of realizing his true passion, switching from finance to computer science. I would concur with that. I would concur with that. Well done. Congratulations, Joseph. Our next graduate is Marissa Ray Garfinkel. And Marissa will be a software engineer at Paylocity. Congratulations, Marissa. Our next graduate is Colin Joseph Griffin. Are you here, Colin? All right. Well, Colin has a lot of things here. I'll give you a second to read it, but I guess, Colin, you're not here. Is that correct? All right. Next graduate is Kayon Hedayati. And after graduation, Ken will look for a new job and take a vacation. <laughs> he dedicates his degree to his family and is particularly proud of going back to school after 20 years with a family and job and getting a 3.5 GPA. Hey, that's well done. Our next graduate is Hanzika Janaki Jayaprakash. And I apologize for mispronouncing your name, because I'm sure I did. Um, Hanzika plans to go to graduate school, a PhD in bioengineering at the Swanson School of Engineering, so just up the street a little bit. Uh, she dedicates her degree towards her parents and family and appreciates their continuing support for education and career. And Let's see, particularly proud of working at the Geriatric Psychiatric, Psychiat Psychiatry Neuroimaging Lab during our experience at Pitt. That's great. That's a really great thing to work on, and I, we all appreciate putting your skills to that kind of good use. Congratulations, Hunter. Thank you so much. So as you know, probably, you probably know that the computer science degree is a, a pretty lucrative degree, and... Um, most of our graduates do go on and uh, right away to industry and have good jobs, good careers. But some decide to go to graduate school, and I really appreciate those that decide to go to graduate school because it, those of us up here know what that's like, and um, we need more. We need more good people to go to graduate school. So even if you are not thinking about it right now, 
Um, you can get into graduate school even as a you know, professional. A lot of companies have education programs, education benefits, so think about that. If you ever decide to go to the academic side of things, we're always looking for more good people to carry on the tradition. Let me add, and we would love for you to come back to Pitt for grad school, but if you go to another place, that's okay too. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the, uh, the suggestion and encouragement from Dr. Ramirez is universal. So uh, the country needs more people to go to graduate school period, so. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Hanzika, she's going to that rival school up the street. Uh, but we don't care, it's still graduate school, so that's great, so congratulations. Our next graduate is Justin Matthew Carley. And Justin plans to look for a job after graduation, uh, plans to de or dedicates his degree to his grandpa, Carly, his brother, Evan, and his parents, and is particularly fond of maintaining a high GPA throughout four years and graduating summa cum laude. Very good, well done, congratulations. Our next graduate is Diana Lynn Kosis. <laughs> After graduation, she'll start a full-time job where she is now working part-time as a software engineer at Crypto Web 3 at a DAO currently named Shipyard. And she dedicates a degree to her dad. Thanks for all the late night FaceTimes and for always believing and encouraging her and pointing her in the right direction. And let's see, one more thing. Particularly proud of being elected president of the Women in Computer Science Club and bringing together an amazing group of girls every week. So let me just stop and mention that a little bit. We have some great clubs in our school. Um, and, and one that's of particular importance is the Women in Computer Science Club. And, and we, as the faculty of our school, are very um, happy that our students have taken initiative to work in these clubs and to make them strong. And the Women in Computer Science Club, even though it says women, it really is open to uh, everybody, um, but one of the goals is to you know, get more women into this discipline, and we hope that uh, we're making success in that area, and part of it is students like Diana to kind of keep that club going and to, to motivate other students to get involved. So I'm, I'm very happy that you were the president, and congratulations on doing that. And, and I'm going to dwell on Diana one more time because this is, she's the first one that has this on it as well. And not the only one by any means, but the first. And if you notice right underneath her name, it says UTA as well. Um, so I also want to talk about that. Uh, Diana and a number of our other students have, have really helped our department out by being undergraduate teaching assistants and, and um, peer tutors. Um, many of our classes, have, uh, those of you that are students know this, but the parents and, family and friends may not know this. Um, many of our classes depend heavily on undergraduate teaching assistants and peer tutors. Um, we have labs, we have recitations, and um, in those labs and recitations, uh, an undergraduate TA will come and will lead the class. They'll lead a discussion, they'll go over a lab, they'll go over problem sets, they'll do ver various things, but, but we depend on those students to actually play a very important role in the education of, the, of their peers, really. So um, it, it pays, but it doesn't pay a lot. It certainly doesn't pay as much as the benefit that we as a department get out of it. So I would like to really thank right now every undergraduate TA and every peer tutor that we have in our department. Can we just give all of them a round of applause? <laughs> our next graduate is Alexander John Kwiatkowski. Are you here, Alexander? Okay, congratulations, Alexander. Our next graduate is David Alapado Ladeji. David, are you here? Okay. After graduation, David will start working full time at Intuit as a software engineer. He dedicates his degree to his parents and the rest of his family. 
and he's particularly proud of working as a UTA. Another UTA, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Very Our next graduate is Marshall Adam Lentz. And Marshall graduated a year early, which gives him some options, plans to pursue some personal goals in music before going into software development full time. A lot of other things up there, but I'd like to ask Adam a question. What in particular in music is your interest? Uh, I do some, I play piano, so performance and then a bit of composing as well. Ah, so are you going to do some jobs to play out and things like that? Or? Uh, yeah, I might have in the past. All right, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next graduate is Yuan, Wee, Yuan Yi Li. And after graduation, Yuan Yi plans to go to graduate school at CMU and study information security. He dedicates his degree to his parents who supported all his life decisions and, made, and gave invaluable service. Also, the professors here helped him when he was struggling in academics. And given that you're going to graduate school at Carnegie Mellon, I expect that that wasn't too often, but, but we're glad we could help at the time when you did actually need some faculty assistance. Uh, particularly proud of Spring 2019, he followed his soccer team and won the Pitt Intramural Championship. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Our next graduate is Gordon Liu. And after graduation, Gordon plans to work full-time as a software engineer at Capital One and also apply for graduate school. He dedicates his degree to his parents, who always supported him no matter what he went through, and also to Dr. Garrison, Dr. Petrucci, and Dr. Sharfagefi. And I don't know that last one. Is that not in our department? No, that's econ. Okay, good. I was thinking maybe there's a faculty member I don't know, but from econ, okay. Uh, great. Um, one other thing, notice at the top, also a UTA and a peer tutor. Congratulations. Thank you very much for doing that. You want a few more seconds to read the rest of this? It's the awesome of technology it will be on YouTube you can go back and as if it's a DVR anything that you miss you can replay okay you can you can watch this again and read all this later all right our next graduate is Jeremiah Joseph Mikado after graduation Jeremiah plans to travel and start a full-time job dedicates his degree to his family and friends and is particularly proud of many great friends and memories Marching in the pit band. So, of course, I'm going to have to ask you, what instrument? Trombone. Trombone. Great instrument. Congratulations. <laughs> so I have another question for you. Are you going to keep up the trombone? Uh, yeah. Sometimes after they get out of the band, you kind of put it away and you don't pick it up again, you know? Me. All right. Good. Good. <laughs> Our next graduate is Elena J. Markley. After graduation, she plans to start a new job at Accenture as a technology architecture analyst. Dedicates his degree to friends who cheered her on, especially when she didn't think she could do it. And particularly proud of three years as a resident assistant to first year students and support and encouragement I was able to provide them. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Khalil Andrew McFarlane. Uh, 
I think he's not here, so congratulations, Khalil. Our next graduate is Paul Morisowitz. <laughs> After graduation, Paul will start a job at MT Bank as an associate in TDP program. Can you tell us what the TDP program is? Uh, Oh, okay. So, is um, are you doing internal technology? Is that like for their systems or for some kind of external you know, rotation? Program. Rotation. Yeah, so we like work on different teams. Oh, okay. So you take rotations of different. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's a great. I I know they have a similar program at BNY Mellon, and it's yeah. it's great. It's great. You'll love that. Uh, so, another student particularly proud of passing operating systems. <laughs> well done. Congratulations, Paul. There is a little bit of a thread. A lot of our graduates are going into the financial industry, as it turns out, so, which is one of the industries. Yeah, the financial industry actually hires a lot of CS people all the time, because obviously at the core of the systems is technology, right? So um, MT Bank, uh, BNY Mellon, PNC end up hiring a lot of uh, computer science graduates and a lot from our school. Our next graduate is Kyle O'Malley. After graduation, Kyle will be working full-time as a crypt analytic computer scientist in the crypt analytic computer network operation development program at the National Security Agency. That's a long title. And we, we can't tell you any more about it because otherwise, you know. So, uh, but one other thing, note, peer tutor, congratulations on that, and we appreciate that. Thanks, Kyle. Oh, you didn't put that on your chart. No, but he wore it. No, but he wore it, yeah, so. Our next graduate is Teddy Potter. And after graduation, Teddy plans to start at Deloitte in the consulting practice as a solutions engineering analyst. He's particularly proud of marching for four years at the Pitt Band, another Pitt Band member, given some of the best experiences, memories, and friends that will last a lifetime. Congratulations, Teddy. Our next graduate is Archana Rajasharan. And I believe Archana is not here, so congratulations, Archana. Our next graduate is Uma Ravindra Rao. <laughs> After graduation, she'll be joining Georgia Tech for the Master of Science in Computer Science program, another graduate school. Well done. She dedicates her degree to her family and her professions at Pitt and particularly found, fond of finding a balance between work life and social life, and that is definitely a challenge with this major. Also, UTA and peer tutor, we really appreciate that. Congratulations, Uma. Our next graduate is Matthew Vincent Rindner. And it looks like Matthew is not here. Our next graduate is Patrick Michael Roach. <laughs> After graduation, Patrick plans, or is already working full time at Edge Case Research as a software engineer. Congratulations, Patrick. Well done. Our next graduate is Dan Eric Rothman. Is Dan here? 
looks like Dan is not here. Our next graduate is Benjamin Dean Rucker. <laughs> After graduation, Benjamin will be working as a full-time software engineer at Palantir. He dedicates his degree to his parents who guided him through the beginning and provided unending support throughout and particularly proud of spending eight hours at market during our final weekend here. Is this just this last weekend? Yeah, just this last weekend. Yeah, were you eating all that time? Or? Uh, we were eating and doing a project for 1555. Let's do that night as well. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you got it finished? Of course. Yeah. All right, well done. Congratulations. Oh, also, UTA, thank you. Yeah. Sorry to make the problem. That's okay. That's okay. Our next graduate is Dao Sheng. <laughs> and after graduation, Dao will plan to take a gap year before applying for medical school. Dedicates his degree to his parents and sister who have been a big help in the past four years and particularly proud of having an opportunity to work at NASA with the skills he learned from CS and chemistry. Was that an internship you did at NASA? Yeah. Was it in Florida or yeah, where was it? Remote because of COVID, is that it? But it was still great, you still liked it? All right, and going to medical school? Congratulations, well done. Also, yeah. yeah. No, Pitt has a good medical school, just so you know. Just, 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 just throwing that out there. What's that? Our next graduate is Sean Thomas Steinley. <laughs> After graduation, Sean will start as an associate software engineer at MITRE in their McLean, Virginia office. He dedicates his degree to his parents and family, the professors who have helped him along the way, and friends he made in college. And is particularly proud of um, being involved in the effort to bring free menstrual products to campus bathrooms. <laughs> That's a very worthwhile cause. Congratulations. Also, Sean was an undergraduate TA. Thank you. Our next graduate is Bamini Stundararaman. And it looks like Bamini is not here. Okay. Our next graduate is William Carl Thomas. Is William here? All right. And our next graduate is Bal Krishna Timsina. How about Kira Svetkova? All right. After graduation, Kira will move to DC, take a gap year, and look to apply for graduate school, possibly abroad. She dedicates a degree to her grandfather. Congratulations, Kira. <laughs> Next graduate is Nicholas John Thibodeau Vastano. Is Nicholas here? I apologize for however many of your names that I mispronounced. Um, after graduation, Nicholas plans to work full-time at Delaware Independent Computing Consultants, dedicates his degree to his parents who paved the way for him to be here, his best friend who made being here fun, his partner who supported him through the odd hours and all-nighters from afar, and to the far more competent women who helped him through the many tough classes. <laughs> Did you, anyone you want to name there? Or? Elena Marcus. <laughs> all right. 
despite, despite giving credit to others, though, notice Nicholas himself was an undergraduate TA, so you definitely did your part in helping others as well, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Our next graduate is Rhea Verma. Are you here, Rhea? And Christopher Michael Votilla, I believe, is also not here. Jin Lang Wong. And Another one going to graduate school. So this, you're making a liar out of me. Everyone going to graduate school. Very well done. Um, plans to go to graduate school at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, dedicate the degree to her families, and being a UTA, or particularly proud of being a UTA and helping introductory course students with their project. And we are particularly proud of you doing that for us. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Great to see so many people going to graduate school. Our next graduate is Lan Yi Wang. And after graduation, no big surprise, Lan Yi is also going to graduate school at CMU for a master's degree in computer science. And after that, we'll work at a tech company. Uh, plans to, or dedicates a degree to her family, boyfriend, supportive professors, and lovely friends she met at Pitt. Particularly proud being a math tutor and a CSTA for two semesters and a research assistant for nine months. And those are all great things, and we are especially thankful for you being a UTA and a peer tutor for us. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Zheng Ming Wang. <laughs> After graduation, Zheng Ming will be working at Retool as a software engineer in San Francisco. She's particularly proud of helping 450,000 plus Pennsylvanians get their COVID vaccine by founding the nonprofit Vaccinate PA and growing the CS Club from 30 to 300 members as the club's president. And just a couple things about that. In the midst of the COVID, the CS Club was really helpful in, in getting word out and getting instructions about how to obtain vaccines and not just as a department but I think as an overall community everyone I hope will appreciate that work that you did also we as a department appreciate the work you did as an undergraduate TA so congratulations on all those things The next graduate is Zohaib Wasim. And I think he's not here. Our next graduate is Travani Yagala. After graduation, Travani will be starting a new job at PNC in the Technology and Development Program. She dedicates her degree to her uh, mom and dad, she couldn't have done it without their undivided love and support. And particularly proud of becoming a UTA. And we are also, once again, very thankful for you to do that. Our classes very much depend on undergraduate TAs and your support. Thank you. So based on your fond remembrances, would you advocate maybe putting a bed up there in that room? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our next graduate is Faya Yu. Yeah. 
After graduation, Faya plans to go to grad school at UIUC, dedicates his degree to his families, and particularly proud of from not knowing anything in CS to completing a degree in CS and not giving up during the process and to going to graduate school. So congratulations, well done. And that's all for the graduates who are here. There are a number who are not able to make it to our ceremony, so why don't we give one more round of applause to everybody who's graduated. Thank you very much, John. Um, so the bulk of our graduates, the, the big bulk of our graduates is an undergraduate program. We do have a few that are in the graduate program with master's or PhD degrees that we would like to recognize today. And uh, uh, this is going to be done by Dr. Panos Chrysantis, who is the director of graduate studies in our department. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, um, John, for expressing my uh, happiness about uh, hearing so many of our students going to the graduate uh, program. Because when you said originally we want to encourage them, I thought we had encouraged them and the results are here. I welcome everyone, uh, uh, the graduates, of course, the family and uh, 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 students, friends. So now it gives me uh, uh, the honor and the pleasure to introduce the graduate, uh, uh, master's computer science graduates first. The first one is Yu Pei. So the good news is that uh, he loves so much uh, ma the master's degree, so he's continuing with his PhD. The next one is uh, Bang Yang Lee. He is here. <laughs> so looking for a job, dedicated the degree to parents, care friend, and uh, 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 school of uh, MMC. Excellent, and congratulations. <laughs> and now it uh, is the time to recognize some of our uh, doctoral uh, recipients. Uh, we have several uh, students with us, some of them graduated uh, last summer in the in December and uh, uh, as recently as yesterday. So we start first with the most recent one, Tazina Freen. I should say now Dr. Tazina Freen. And um, uh, her thesis title was Desirable to Revisions of Evidence and Reasoning for Accumulative uh, Writing. The thesis advisor is uh, Professor uh, Diane Littmann, but also uh, uh, advised by Professor uh, Rebecca Hau. As most of our graduates, uh, including me, the first uh, when you graduate, you are looking for a job. So uh, we wish you all the best. And uh, you know, the, she dedicates her degree to uh, Numai, her son. Congratulations. And always it's tough to graduate and uh, have uh, parents' uh, responsibility, especially with the pandemic, when you have to stay on Zoom and also take care of uh, the young ones. So. Uh, she also has to recognize, as uh, John said uh, before, the department works because of our uh, graduates, either in the role of uh, teaching assistants, also as good citizens running the uh, computer science graduate student organization, keeping all uh, our, uh, uh, our people in good sense and balance. So she was the vice president and very active into the activities of the department. Thank you for that. So uh, on purpose, I could not to acknowledge Dr. Mose, who is making all this noise since the beginning of the event. He is sitting there.
Next one is uh, Jio Ming Li. I'm full. Here, here. Congratulations. So, Jio Ming was uh, hooded yesterday. His thesis uh, was on modeling clinical event time series with neural temporal models. He was advised by Milos Hauschkraft. And uh, at this point, he works in this company, Meta, something yeah. like that, for yeah, Facebook, like that. yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and uh, he is a uh, research assistant uh, in the AI Applied Research title. He has uh, dedicated uh, the degree to his wife, Ye uh, Ye Ning Kim. And she's Ye here, Kim. right there. There. <laughs> And um, as uh, all of us, when we are uh, doing our degree, we spend this memorable, uh, endless time at Pitt and doing all these uh, nights, sleepless nights, finishing projects, final uh, uh, camera-ready papers, and so on. And uh, congratulations for that. The next uh, uh, graduate is uh, Dr. Sumedha Siglam. So she joined uh, also Meta. <laughs> what is happening with this issue? Congratulations. And uh, again, another person who has, uh, besides uh, trying to co complete her degree, who had uh, the responsibility of the family. And uh, she dedicates, in fact, her degree to her daughter, husband, and sister, and above all, her uh, parents, who have, uh, uh, we have the pleasure of having them here to, uh, with us uh, together. Congratulations. <laughs> so uh, her thesis title is Deep Learning for Medical Imaging from Diagnostics Prediction to Its Explanation. The thesis advisor was uh, Dr. Kayan Batmanhat, Kelly, and uh, also uh, uh, advice, co advice with uh, Rebecca Howe, right? No, no. <laughs> Sorry. My mistake. Finally, uh, I think it's finally, we have uh, uh, Dr. Xiao Yu Ji. So his thesis title is Minimizing User Effort in Large-Scale Example-Driven Data Exploration. I had the privilege and proud of uh, hooding him yesterday. He was my student. Uh, he works as a senior software engineer at Federal Reserve uh, Board in Washington, D.C. Uh, as uh, he says here, basically one of uh, the things that he loved most was uh, teaching undergraduates. And in fact, uh, as he said here, he was honored twice with the Tolpia Award as well as the Tolpia Award uh, runner-up. Plus, he was nominated for the University of Elizabeth Barringer Excellence in Teaching Award. I think there was one more person who got it in that department, right? You, right? <laughs> so, nonetheless, so the <clears throat> what I'm going to say out here is that besides the teaching awards, I have to uh, reveal that uh, I wrote the most papers with Chao Yu. We wrote six journal papers and 18 conference and workshop papers. Congratulations. So, uh, so this was everybody. So as we did uh, uh, before, let's do one uh, last round of applause for everybody. <laughs> and uh, 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 there are two more things left to do. Uh, so uh, one would be uh, we will, uh, all the graduates need to come in the front. So we take one big group photo. 
And then while this is happening, we're going to set up the cookie table so on your way out you can get uh, insomnia cookies and water if you want. Uh, something to keep you going because it's been uh, quite long. So thank you, everybody. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can cut the feed now, uh, Bob, uh, uh, and uh, let's take the picture. Yeah, so we should uh, try to uh, fill the stage, and the photographer is over there, so that's the angle we're going to do. Yes. Uh, what? Could we fit in front of the table? Could we try in front of the table? Can we cover the table? Can we go in front? Let's do two rows here. <laughs> oh, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah. Wait, can we can we move this like table to right now? Oh yes, we can try to move it. How about we do this like, thing? Wait, wait, wait. Let's do it vertical so it's a smaller gap. So let's uh, yeah. go yeah. through here. Good idea.